Welcome back to yet another episode on Kobe MC Photography's channel. So this time I am going to make you an expert at updating firmware on your Pentax camera. Oh yeah, it's going to be awesome. You're going to be updating firmware. You're going to be going through all your old cameras and trying to update the firmware. I'm going to make sure it's a completely clear itemized video from the absolute start to the absolute finish. By the time this video is done, you will be an expert at updating firmware and it will alleviate any worries that you have in regards to doing that. Um, so with the Pentax K3 Mark III, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating, there was a new firmware released just the other day, uh, firmware 1.80. Uh, a couple of bug fixes, a video issue, uh, of course, the uh, custom image mode. Uh, let me just take a look and see what it was called. Uh, is Harubin, if you remember Street Fighter. Uh, so Harubin is the new image, uh, custom image mode. That was done and uh, it works with the HD Pentax FA 77 f1.8 limited and the HD Pentax 2040 2.8 to 4 ED limited DCWR. So anyway, from start to finish, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is verify the uh, firmware version you have on your camera. So for the K3 Mark III, it is in menu under maintenance. So the wrench, maintenance, which is number six, and firmware info options. And uh, just scroll over and you can see here firmware info options, Pentax K3 Mark III version 1.70. So I'm not on the latest firmware. I need to update it. How do you do that? Keep watching. Okay, so generally what I do is I start off with doing Pentax K3 Mark III, and uh, usually it shows up in my history because I've already done this. So firmware, boom. And then just uh, click on latest Pentax K3 Mark III firmware update. And if you're looking for other firmwares, uh, you can just go to the download service here and it'll bring you to all the software downloads for every single camera. So there is an update for the K1 Mark II and K1 2.20 and 2.20. The K3 Mark III is 1.80, the KP 1.31, KF 1.20. Actually, I'm curious because I've noticed people saying that the KP did not get an update. Uh, not sure if, okay, yeah, it looks like it hasn't received an update since the DA Star 1650 came out. That's kind of sad. All right, anyway, let's go back and uh, grab the K3 Mark III firmware. So all you need to do is scroll down, all the way down. Now, when you do a new firmware update, uh, the good thing is it includes all the previously released firmwares in the newest version. So you don't have to do each one to get to the latest. You can just download, install the latest firmware, and it will include everything that's been done in the past. So let's just download it. And as you can see here in the corner, it's downloading. Okay, yes, my randomly activating McAfee advisor thing. Okay, so it's in my downloads. So I'm gonna show it in the folder. And I'm going to copy this, copy. And I'm going to put this on my desktop here. As you can see, I've got other ones here. I'm just gonna paste it in here. And now here is where the ultimate trick comes in. So with this, uh, what you need to understand is what exactly is root, because that is one of the instructions that they do mention. Uh, da -da -da, where is it here? Update. Yes. So copy the above firmware file to the root directory of the SD card. So what exactly is root? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
I did a video on this before, but this time I wanted to go through the entirety of the process from start to finish with me actually doing the firmware since I have not done this one. So with that said, let's uh, open this up. And as you can see, there are a couple of files in here. Ignore this one, you don't need this. What you actually need is only this file. This bin file is a self-extracting file. So once it's in the camera, it will automatically be recognized and it'll just do its thing. Now, the thing with this is first of all, you want to use card slot one and make sure you have a full battery. So I'm gonna pull out the card and I am going to insert it into my memory card reader here. Boom, just took a minute, it's activated. This is a good example of what not to do. So I've just put this in the DCIM folder. You do not want to do that. You want to put it in the main root directory. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go back. So this is the main directory where all the folders and everything would be listed. So you have your DCIM, which is your image folder, the Pentax folder. This is the main root directory. So as long as you can see, if you're using a K3 Mark III, as long as you can see Pentax and DCIM, you're in the root of the SD card. If you're using any of the older cameras, you will see the DCIM. That is how you know you're in the root. Now you do not put the bin file in either of these folders. You just paste it right here. So you should have, if it's an older camera, you should have two, one folder and one file. DCIM and then the firmware. If it's a K3 Mark III, you'll see what I see, which is DCIM, Pentax, and then the firmware. So the firmware is done. So now what we do is we take the SD card out. So let's take the SD card out, remove it, and stick it into the K3 Mark III like so, close the door. And now when you start the camera, you will start it by holding the menu button. Now, that's very important because if you don't do this, it won't work. It automatically recognizes, it takes a minute for it to load up. And as you can see here, version 1.70 to version 1.80, the camera firmware will be updated execute and now it's updating and we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait some more and we wait some more and we continue to wait as it updates and then it is done so now what well now you simply just turn off the camera because anything else you do won't do anything nothing else works so just turn off the camera turn it back on and then verify that it's good. And now we are on version 1.80. And that's literally all there is to it in regards to updating the firmware on a Pentax camera. It's very simple, very straightforward. Don't worry about it, don't stress about it, just get her done. And I always do suggest that whenever there is a new firmware update, always do the update. You don't know what small bug fixes and stuff may have been fixed. A lot of times it adds new features. That's about it. That's about it. If you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Always helps out. Yada, yada, yada. Comments down there below. <laughs> if you want to support the channel, that info is down there as well. And I'm going to go. You'll see me on my next video. I'm out.